Yes, sir. All right, so not too long ago, I made a video about this woman right here, Paige Beckers, about basically that she should stay in college because she's going to be a bigger star playing for UConn than she ever will be in the WNBA. We could have that argument later. Playing for UConn, playing for a championship every single year that you're going to be there, the way that March Madness pushes you, ESPN pushes you, and playing for a top-tier program at UConn, you're going to get way more media coverage than you ever will be in the WNBA. It has nothing to do with you being quote unquote white. Not for nothing. I did add that she was getting a good amount of coverage because she did fit the European beauty standard. Her being a little blonde chick that could ball and that she talks smack every now and then. Everybody loves to point out that she has quote unquote swagger and things like that. Fast forward to this weekend. The ESPYs were on. I know nobody watched it. I know nobody cares. Last time I watched the ESPYs is when they had that whole fiasco with Bruce, Caitlyn Jenner, whatever you want to call that individual. That's your business. But Paige Beckers apparently won an award for the best collegiate woman's player. And she basically had a speech for a black woman, basically patronizing black women and whatnot. She wants to show them that she's that white knight and that she's here for them. Rub their back until they burp and tell them kind words until they go to sleep. Things like that. All that woke bullshit, all that stupid ass narrative that doesn't change a damn thing. You could say all the right things that you're reading off of the teleprompter or whatnot. It's all cringeworthy behavior and you could just keep that to yourself. How about you make action behind the curtain? Stop talking about all this bullshit about media coverage. Who the hell gives a damn about media coverage when that doesn't change a damn thing in the community? Not to digress, let's jump into this article and whatnot. It's written by Deadspin, some guy, Donovan Dooley. Paige Beckers is showing white women how to be allies. <laughs> All you pro blacks, I already know y'all was clapping. I already know y'all was chugging y'all beers, taking shots to that speech. Because <laughs> Paige Becker showed y'all that she supports BLM. That made y'all night. Quote, unquote, celebrating other people's success doesn't diminish yours. In no way, shape, or form am I shitting on Paige Beckers. All I'm trying to tell her is the patronizing bullshit, you can just keep that to yourself. Nobody gives a damn about what you got to say if you're not making no actions. Just keep your words to yourself. We're more about actions. Let's talk. Quote, celebrating other people's success doesn't diminish yours. These are the words of a 19-year-old woman still in college. She's grasped something that many adults twice her age still fail to understand. We can all win if we come together. Beckers took home an SB for best college athlete in women's sports last night, and she made sure she didn't leave the stage without using her voice to amplify the accomplishments of black women. Quote, with the light that I have now as a white woman who leads a black led sport and celebrated here, I want to shed light on black women. End quote. Becker said after thanking her support system, they don't get the media coverage that they deserve. They've given so much to the sport, the community and society as a whole. Their value is undeniable. No doubt. This is basically what she said. This is this, the this speech right here. We're going to play that in a quick second. But let's be honest. Are black women getting the coverage or not getting the coverage? <laughs> Asking for a friend. All we hear about is black girl magic. They have TV shows. All the commercials. All the things that ESPN does so that black women get coverage. I mean, we can't miss them. I'm not saying anything bad about it. But like I say, she just made this cringeworthy speech because she has to. She's going down that war path. She's going to be in the WNBA rubbing shoulders with Breonna Stewart and everybody else. But let's just check out what she says. First, I'd like to say all glory to God because, I mean, this is better than I could have ever imagined. Um, I'm just a small town kid with really big dreams. And I'm honored to show all the little kids that are watching this that dreams do come true if you work hard and you have great faith in your life. Um, a huge shout out to my friends and my family and everybody that helped me get to be where I am today, um, especially my coaches and my teammates. Um, I stand on just on this stage alone, but without them, I wouldn't have this award. Um, and they've sacrificed so much for me. Okay, sorry. I just had ankle surgery. I'm out of breath, okay. out of shape. But now, um, with the light that I have now, um, as a white woman who leads a black-led sport um, and celebrated here, I want to show a light on black women. Um, they don't get the media coverage that they deserve. If they don't get the media coverage that they deserve, why did you accept the award? You should have just gave it to a 
black woman if that was the case, right? Since they don't get the coverage, since you feel like you was getting so much coverage being a quote unquote white woman and whatnot in a black led sport, how about you should have gave it to the runner up or something like that instead of talking about it? What does that change? They've given so much to this sport and the community and society as a whole, and their value is un undeniable. Um, and in the WNBA last season, the postseason awards, 80% of the winners were black, but they got half the amount of coverage as the white athletes. So I think it's time for change. Um, sports media holds the key to storylines. Sport sports media and sponsors tell us who is valuable. And you have told the world that I matter today. And everyone who voted, thank you. Um, but I think we should use this power together to also celebrate black women. So to Maria Taylor, Robin Roberts, Maya Moore, Odyssey Alexander, to all the incredible black women in my life, on my teams, to Breonna Taylor and all the lives lost, and to those names who have not yet learned, but I hope to share, I stand behind you and I'll continue to follow, follow you and follow your lead and fight for you guys. So I just want to say thank you for everything. You sounded very uncomfortable making that speech. That's why it sounded like you were reading when you said follow, like you just like stuttered when you said that, like like you were reading off of something. Let's just go let's go back real quick to see if I'm bugging or something. Behind you and I'll continue to follow follow you and follow your lead and fight for you guys. So feel me? Doesn't it sound like she's reading off of something? Like this speech doesn't even really sound genuine. For you to even throw like Brianna Taylor, no disrespect. What does that have to do with your collegiate award? What does that have to do with the media coverage of the athletes? <laughs> That's how you know that this speech was put together for her because she's going to be a part of this woke process. You're going to be in this media and whatnot. You got to support Black Lives Matter. You got to be down with that alternative lifestyle and things like that. And then you got to say kind things about black women. That's all you have to do. Who is it? It's the blonde white woman in the black led sport coming to talk good things about black women and about how they don't get coverage and whatnot just so they could view me as the white knight and let them know that i'm down for the cause even though nothing's gonna change you want to talk about how the media pushes this the media tells you who's important and whatnot wouldn't that mean that you should go towards the execs producers the people that owns the company what the hell are you <laughs> what the hell is talking about it change that's what I'm trying to say. Keep them words to yourself. Talk about the shit behind the curtain. That's when action changes, man. All the patronizing words and things like that, the kind words, rubbing bellies, rubbing backs, things like that, giving hugs. That shit is not impressive. People want to put black squares on their social media things. Blackout Tuesdays, that's not impressive. What's changing? Paige Beckers, stick to playing basketball. Stick to sports, man. Do not go down this war path. <laughs> it's not for you. All you people, all you quote unquote white people that feel like you want to change something, cut a check. Tell your person, tell your father, tell your mother, empty out the bank account. That's when shit will change. We don't need your words. <laughs> that shit doesn't change a damn thing. Let's check it out. Then basically Paige Beckers goes into detail about why she decided. Let's check this out. I gotta be honest, Paige. I loved you because you were an awesome basketball player. Then you beat my Maryland Terps. And I was like, <laughs> uh, I don't know. The first thing this little dude said is that he loves her. And that's what every pro black dude is going to say on their in their comment section. We love that speech that you said about our queens. <laughs> Tonight, your speech. Woo. I love you again. Fire. <laughs> Thank you so much for those words. And can you tell me a little bit about what um, prompted you to do that in that moment? Yeah. Well, it's just I've over the past couple of years, I've just gotten a lot of tension in the media and a lot of it has been focused on me and other white athletes. And I just want to what other white athletes besides that freshman in Iowa, besides you and the freshman in Iowa, what other white woman were really getting blasted through the media? The question is none. It was only you. They really wasn't even talking about that freshman. I can't pronounce her name. I can't remember it right now, but she's pretty dirty and she goes to Iowa. And she has basically similar or better numbers than Paige Beckers. So basically, what are you trying to say? You basically got preferential treatment over another white woman. So basically what you say is all bullshit. My platform to sort of share the light and just sort of expand the horizons on who gets the attention, who gets the social media followings. And black women, I feel like, aren't, aren't hit enough when it comes to getting that attention. So I just wanted to spread like spread the love and share my platform with them.
Where does that come from for you? Like, I don't know if that's um, originating from conversations you're having in your locker room because we were here backstage listening to your speech yelling, that's allyship, you know, mm -hmm. and that was such an important speech for you to give tonight. So where does that come from for you? Yeah, a lot of conversations I've had with a lot of important black women in my life, um, mm -hmm. coaches, teammates, um, just a lot of con uncomfortable conversations we have just to try to spread awareness and spread growth for our country and just the world as a whole. So it was just, it came from a lot of conversations. Yeah. I think we talk a lot about um, progress comes from sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And this was your first big national moment. Yeah. And you took that moment to sacrifice. Frankly, you sacrificed that moment to put. This is her first big national moment. She just got knocked out in the semifinals in the in the college basketball tournament you're talking about this oh my goodness dominique foxworth man i tell you dude the same dude that hates bills fans hates josh allen's fans i'm sorry because they love the american flag how is this her first big stage and whatnot this woman is 19 years old what kind of conversations that are you guys having today besides black lives matter besides that clown sean white all these race baiting tactics that you see on tv and on your cell phone and whatnot because people were playing outside everybody wasn't on their phone so much to know what's going on in the world and want to save everybody and put on a cape and whatnot to where this woman right here feels like all she has to do say some kind words and now things are going to change for black women social media followings who gives a shit about that people are still killing each other left and right what are you changing being a quote-unquote white woman saying what the hell you said what is that changing <laughs> Yo, sisters got to stop falling for bullshit like this because they just treat you like a kid. They come through, they say kind words, they want to burp you, and then talk you to sleep. <laughs> and then you got bozos like Dominique Foxworth and every other pro-black. Not every pro-black because there are some sane ones, the ones that think logically, you know what I'm saying, strategically, and want to come up with some solutions out here and whatnot. But pro-blacks like this, the black woman is God, these kind of guys right here are the guys that right here that are cheering Paige Becker, saying that she did that. <laughs> Tension uh, where you believe it belongs. That's something we can expect from you, like for the rest of your very long and I'm sure very great career. Yeah, I live by like a phrase of celebrating other people's success doesn't diminish yours. So I love spreading the light and I don't like when all the attention is, attention is on me. So I'm, I just love spreading awareness and spreading light and just making others shine with my light. Paige Beckers, man, before you won this award, it was Brittany Griner, Maya Moore. You had Tamika Catchings, Cheryl Swoops, Lisa Leslie, Cynthia Cooper, Tina Thompson, Skylar Diggs. And I don't want to keep going, but like I say, it's not about being so-called black or so-called white and whatnot. Diana Taurasi, Breonna Stewart, Sue Bird, Della Don, the list goes on about the great players and whatnot who gets covered. The WNBA, women's sports don't get covered in general. So if we want to talk about who gets covered, we really got to talk about women's coverage in general, not just about the coverage of so-called black women, because we see Candace Parker on TV, on TNT and whatnot, covering men's basketball and whatnot. We see Skylar Diggins on commercials here and there, but we don't see them getting pushed. So you want to talk about all this. It's not changing the damn thing. ESPN is part of the problem. They could do that. They know what they're doing. Just because you say what you're saying for a reason, it's not going to change the damn thing, man. Let's see what this article is talking about. Beckers is a sensational talent, so it's no surprise that she garners a lot of attention. But she has a point. Black women are often the most ignored group in this country. How can black women be the most ignored group when that's the only group that we talk about? She brought up Breonna Taylor when that has a damn thing to do with basketball and things like that. But she's not bringing up the fact about where are the black fathers. <laughs> but that's another story for another day. NCAA women's basketball, which is compromised, which is comprised of majority black women has more stars than just beggars many of them are black and they deserve the spotlight shine on them as well if you know many of them that are black and i'm talking about the individual that is writing this article why didn't you name them <laughs> you know what i'm saying if you know so many how about you name them like the ones that she could have mentioned in her speech i'm surprised that y'all not 
telling her that she could have named some names. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just saying black woman, which is just a broad term, she could have went down the list of the women that she's actually competing with right now. Not the women of the past. How about the women that are playing right now? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm trying to say, bro. This is all bullshit. Beggars taking the time to bring attention to how black women are covered in the media shouldn't be something that's frowned upon by media members. It should be a wake up call for the industry to really look at what we are doing and be cognizant of who is getting the main coverage and why they are getting this level of attention. <laughs> Follow the money and figure out who's running these programs, who's the execs, who's the producers, and then it'll all make sense to you. None of these companies are ran by so-called black men or women and things like that. So how do you feel like the media coverage is going to be focused on so-called black women and whatnot when the companies aren't black owned? You know what I'm saying? Does that make any sense? And like I said before, all we hear about is how black women are this, how black women are not protected, how black women are God, black women are strong and independent. We hear everything about black women, but we don't hear about what black women are not. I'm not trying to make this a negative thing. All I'm trying to tell you is we hear about black women left and right and how they cannot do any wrong. <laughs> Just look at our music, look in the hip hop genre. You feel me? <laughs> they tell black women they could do whatever they want. They can't do no wrong. Like I said, the Beckers, Brianna Stewart, and the Sabrina, I I cannot pronounce that last name, man. Y'all can help me out with that shit. The Sabrina Ionuskis of the world will always get their shine because they deserve it. But there are a plethora of black women and not only women's basketball, but women's sports in general who all deserve to get their moment in the sun. And it's way more than just a few headlines and talking points on shows during the season. The media can significantly influence how much money these women bring in to help themselves and their families, especially with the NIL playing a huge role in college sports this upcoming season and beyond. What Beckers did is what all self-proclaimed quote unquote white allies should be doing should all be doing not complaining about diversity hires that was a shot at rachel nichols and who should be where but promoting more diversity in their places of work becker stepped up and shed light on a major issue that needs to be addressed black women deserve recognition it's time for us all to stop ignoring their power Oh my gosh, that pretty much sums that article up, written by a pro-black who basically views the black woman as God and, and basically doesn't believe that they're not getting enough media coverage and whatnot, but obviously this guy doesn't watch sports, because he couldn't even give you a handful of black woman athletes, college or professional, whatever dynamic, because this wasn't just about college basketball, as he says, whatever athlete that is not getting coverage, he could have brought him up. But what are you talking about? You're talking about Beckers, Brianna Stewart, and Sabrina. When meanwhile, like I said, you got Brittany Griner, Skylar Diggins, Tamika Cashins when she was in the league, you got Candace Parker. The list goes on about the sisters that are getting coverage. The problem is women's sports doesn't get coverage in general. So how about just talking about women's sports? Stop talking about black women because they get the coverage when you know when the time is right. Maya Moore was getting that coverage when she was the best college player, hands down. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then it just goes from there. A lot of these people, they just talk. They don't do their due diligence to back up the shit that they're talking about. They just want to say these kind words, throw off some numbers, and think that and and make it sound like it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Because pro-blacks, they don't fact check. <laughs> they emotionally check with their own feelings to make sure that what you're saying makes them feel better about what the, about themselves. To be quote-unquote white allies and whatnot. The dude that wrote this article is just like, bro, how many white women and men are you looking to give you a hug? <laughs> what she said is not changing the damn thing in sports, man. If you really want to change shit up, then you got to talk to the execs and everybody that's in charge that that controls advertising and everybody that's in charge with marketing because they are the one that put that on the TV screen. So th like I said, this woke war path, ESPN being the worldwide leader in woke, that's why their ratings are tanking and talking about black women is not going to change a damn thing. You have to make action, Paige Beckers. Stick to sports, man. You're great right now. You're balling. The light is on you and whatnot. But let's be honest and let's be real. It doesn't matter if you're a white woman or a black woman playing sports in this world. You're not getting covered 
equally. It doesn't really matter. You're not getting covered pretty much. That's the problem. It's not about black women not getting covered. It's about all women getting covered. And then black women will get more coverage, essentially. But that's enough of that I got for that because <laughs> these white women, they do things to show you like that they're down with the cause. But meanwhile, they could do more. Stop talking about it and be about it. Nobody wants to hear your kind words. We're about action over here because talking about it is what's led to nothing to this day. Circular conversations, protests, riots, and all this nonsense that it hasn't changed a damn thing. Trump is out of office. He was the boogeyman. Nothing has changed. More things are happening for the Asian communities and things like that. Black women in the black community is still stagnant, waiting for the white knight to come out of the raptors and save their lives. That's not going to happen. Let me know what y'all think. Come out.